All right, hey Pisces, so we're doing a quick energy check-in for your love situation, and you're going to know this is your read based off the mutual energy, and then I'll pull your energy and how you feel about the connection, so if it doesn't make sense to you, check your other placements, you guys, and if you're new, welcome. I do hope that you guys will um, subscribe if you like my energy, so look at you guys are coming through with dazed and confused and ghosted. All right, um, just, I, I, I mean, I hate to say that, but it, it kind of goes hand in hand, especially when things are going good. So let's just dig a little bit more to see about this mutual energy. What is happening here? You could have been the ghoster. They could have been the ghoster. Let's just see. I feel like with the night, yeah, definitely a walking away, huh? Look at maybe somebody being dishonest, um, somebody who um, kind of manipulated you or the situation. All right. That could, and again, the roles could be reversed, but I feel like the eight of cups in this case is walking away from the individual and the knight of swords is also coming through in reverse. And I just feel like you guys are dealing with somebody who was very dishonest. Um, what a way to, to just kind of diminish someone's hope and trust. Right. Um, and I really hope that you were not the ghost during this case, you guys, but you know, when these two cards come in reverse, that is burnt out, unfocused, impulsive, restlessness. It's a um, misusing of your, your own power, their power. It's manipulation, cold hearted behavior to the max is what you're dealing with right here and straight walking away or getting walked away from. All right. So this is, I hate to see that with you guys. And I apologize, um, Pisces. So let's just see. A little bit more about your energy and see what's happening Pisces <clears throat> your energy what is going on with you guys look at you're the one that got ghosted you got ghosted I'm sorry you guys I've, I've felt that man I've felt that shit look at that you got the five of cups showing up you got that it's like you're putting your head down you're going to work you're just doing whatever you can to probably release and let go of the situation um, maybe you're looking at it too, like another cord that just needs to be cut, right? Um, because you know what? Nobody, like, you don't deserve that shit, man. Gosh, you know, just the uh, distorted people that come through these days. But you know what? Situations like this, you guys, I got to tell you, it just makes it easier for you to get a sense of somebody's true authentic behavior you know it's like talking to somebody within the first five minutes every time something negative happens it's like I'm not saying that all it does is is build up a wall you know but you can talk you situations like this will prevent it from happening in the future I'm going to I'll say that because your your intuition about people will start to elevate and rise you'll start to sense all right um unhealed unhealed wounds inside people. I seen the high priestess and the moon card coming up too in this deck so far. Um, and that, that combination is a depiction of somebody that's full of shit, man. So let's just see how you feel about the connection as it sits right now. You got the two of wands showing up. All right, look, more negative energy, the stolen heart card coming through lies, cheating, manipulation, probably somebody got what they wanted and then and bolted. Okay. With the three of pentacles and that two of wands, it's like, do I wait for this to come back around? Do I let it go? You know, with the page of wands coming through, it could be feeling like you got some, um, you thought or felt like this was some real strong energy. Okay. The two of wands to me is like that twin flame energy. It's that deep soul level energy. The page of wands represents a spiritual journey, but it's like, there is no spiritual journey with this person if they're going to be like that. Right. Okay, so I, you know, and I don't know, I'm not pulling to see why, who, what, when, where, and why the situation happened, but I will say if you guys do feel like this is a deep soul level connection, there are reasons that the universe will step in and pull you guys apart, except, especially if somebody's being shifty and it's like Pisces, you don't deserve that shiftiness. Okay, so let's just see who, who we're talking about. Who is this person? Who is this person? The Seven of Wands is. Um, Leo. So you got Leo coming through. You got Capricorn coming through with the four of coins. And then we have the 10 of cups, which is Pisces. So it could be any of those signs. Um, this person's energy. So the seven of wands and the four of, of pentacles coming through in reverse. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's just a little bit selfish. Okay. Um, over here with the 10 of cups, it's like you see, I, I already feel like there's a, a lot of spiritual elements to this dynamic that you're in. At least you feel that way with this person. And I actually feel like with this energy coming through that um, I feel like there's somebody that's probably very, very charming and that you would probably forgive 
eventually, but I do feel like this person comes through as very selfish. Okay. As these two cards come through in reverse, you know, the seven of wands to me is somebody who is all about you. You are all about them. It's like, we're batting people away. Okay. It's me and you against the world. And the four of pentacles to me is about holding space for somebody in the love dynamic. Okay. So what I feel with these two cards right here, um, coming in reverse is the opposite of that. Somebody who's very selfish, you know, somebody who's probably just all about getting what they want. Um, and that could just be their behavior. Now it doesn't mean that it won't potentially change over time. Um, but let's see how they feel about the connection with you. How do they feel about the connection? The hangman. So this person is dazed and confused. All right, there's a little bit of a, a um, some delusion that happens with this person. I feel like, you know, the star card coming in reverse, it's like this person doesn't believe. I feel like they don't believe in that big ten of cups energy, the ultimate wish fulfillment. The star card coming through in reverse and that hangman card, it shows up in reverse and it's almost like they could see um, a big picture with you, but it's almost like this person don't believe in it. And they could have had stuff happen to them in the past that's left them with a bad taste in their mouth and that's why they kind of do what they do because they don't believe in commitment. They don't believe in the happily ever after. All right. I feel like they are coming through with confliction, but I feel like it's because of how everything kind of uh, transpired with you that it's like maybe they're starting to kind of choke on their decision to, to back away or pull away from this okay um I really feel like the longer you guys spend apart and there's no contact and there's no communication and I'm just looking at the hangman with this dazed and dazed and confused this card showing up in reverse it's almost like the longer you guys go without no contact this person's really going to open up and see what this connection and what you mean to them so let's just see what their hopes and desires are with this connection their hopes and desires. Look at this. The Nine of Wands. I feel like that's how they see you coming through. The Page of Swords. Look, it's spying on you. Um, it's all talk, no action. And we have the Ten of Wands. So they don't want it to be over with. But it's almost like they're coming through with this immature behavior. Um, trying to check you out on the sidelines. They could have even made like a fake account or something. Just to kind of see what you're up to. Um, maybe if there's an in. I, you know, I really don't know. Like, I just really feel like that right now, as far as their hopes and desires is there, it's like baby steps because I really feel like this person has hurt you in such a way. They're like, I don't even know if I could get a leg in anymore. All right. So, um, it, treating you completely the opposite than what you've experienced thus far. So let's just see how you make this person feel. Yeah. Look at that. They want to communicate with you. It's almost like this person, you got the will of fortune. So this is like, you know, they see this as something bigger, but I feel like this person just don't believe in that right now. The queen of wands is somebody, you know, that feels very, very attractive. You make them feel very attractive. You make them feel probably like they're on top of the world and that they're the only ones that exist. And it's probably the, the intensity of your energy that kind of um, made this person pull away a little bit. Um, you know, treated you like maybe everybody else. Like they have everybody else and then it's like they get this huge wake up call. Um, it, it's going to come, you guys. So let's just see what their intentions are. Their intentions. What are their intentions? They're going to come back through. Look at that. You have the magician card coming through with the ace of wands and the chariot. So they are definitely going to come back through, you guys. Okay, and I don't feel like maybe this was recognized energy beforehand, but I do feel like their intentions now are to come back through. Um, you have the magician. I just feel like this is manifesting a new beginning. So if they um, are kind of being cowardly right now, just be patient because they will come back through. You will get your answers. We have the five of wands coming through. Okay, and this to me is um, it's a stringing along dynamic. So the only thing I was concerned with in seeing the magician and the ace of wands is when this person does come back through, you got to use your just focus on between your solar plexus and your sacral and get that feeling in your gut on what their intentions are when they come back. OK, um, because I can't help but feel like some of you guys might be dealing with a magic man or a magic woman. OK, that's just trying to see where they sit with you in such a way that if I still got it type of energy. So let's just see what their next move is in the next 30 to 45 days. Yep, here's your offer. 
Okay, you have the Four of Wands showing up. You guys, this person is going to come back through. The Knight of Wands coming through in reverse is no, it's like no better than that Five of Wands I just seen. You guys know the, the Knight of Wands is a depiction of that player energy. I'm not going to say that's going to be for everybody, but I do feel like there's going to be a, a few of you guys. Pisces, you got to use that water intuition that you guys um, were born with to see what their dynamic is. The Four of Wands showed up in reverse. The Knight of Wands is in reverse. You have the Page of Pentacles. This is like repairing the past mistakes. Okay, this is where the lack of progress set in, but this is also a manifestation card. Okay, and I don't feel like every single one of you are dealing with somebody who's going to come back through and be a player and string you along um, and just to hurt you again, but I do feel like you guys need to be open and receptive to your intuition on what each... Because you guys are all going through something different, man. And I just feel like some some of you guys are, are going to deal with, with some people that are able to repair the past and heal it. All right? But I feel some of you guys are going to be dealing with this energy in such a way that they're not coming through authentically. They're still not. It's almost like I just want to see. Like I just, you know, it's like a player. I just, I just want to see where I sit. So let's just see what they have to say to you. I left you before you could leave me. Look at that. And then you speak to me through music. Okay. I don't want to let you go. And that's where I see these this energy coming back. And I want to be more than friends. So there's like authentic. There's an authentic um, collective. And I feel like there's an inauthentic collective. I left you before you could leave me. You guys, that's um, some bullshit. So let's see what initials are popping through here. If your initials don't show up, but you resonate with the cards, you guys, that's all that matters. All right, so what we have here is NS, DB, and UV. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it here. You guys, I love you so much. Take care.